What's up, everybody? Welcome to Buzzworthy TV. Just checking in with y'all. So, look, I'm coming to y'all because I just want to let y'all know what's going on in my life. First of all, the job is going great. Um, I'll be in Toronto sometime in June for my last bit of training. Got my passport yesterday. That was really exciting. Um, I don't know. I'm just in a space right now. You know, I told y'all I went to go to my mom's graduation in North Carolina. And that just put me in a really motivated space to do what I need to do. I mean, my mom is 62 years old and she's just showing me there's never, it's never too late to just go after your dreams, you know. She's switching careers at 62 and just seeing her just loving school and thriving and just seeing her excitement, you know, it's just letting me know that go for what you want. You only got one life. To live. I know it sounds cliche or whatever, but it's the truth. Like, you only got one life. So if you're not doing what you really want to do out of life, if you haven't been places that you haven't been to, try your best to do it. Because this is not a dress rehearsal, as my auntie likes to tell me. This is all you get, this life. You know, this second, you already older. Than the last, you know, than the last second. So, you know, life is just too short. And me being down there with my mom just told me, you know what? I'm going to come back more motivated because I got things to do. We all got things to do. Just keep that in mind, y'all. It's so much to do and see in this world. And we got so much to accomplish. And, I mean, we're not going to accomplish everything that we set our minds to. But... I mean, you got to give it a try. You don't want to go with those woulda, coulda, shouldas. I mean, who wants to live their life with a whole bunch of regret? Even if you just attempt it, you could be like, well, you know, I tried and didn't like it. Or I tried it and shoot, I didn't even know I was good at it. I told you, I've even stepped into the, the career that I'm in now. And it's something that I never thought I'd be good at. I never thought I'd be good at marketing. Um, I told you, I'm a writer. But I found the job because I was in need of a job at an entry-level position in marketing. And I used those skills, my people skills, my love for the written word. And I've actually used those skills to actually find something that I love. I mean, I'm definitely going to be a writer. I'm definitely going to be an entertainer, a journalist. But if I wouldn't just... Not took that leap of faith, I would have never had an opportunity to do the things that I've done. I mean, I've helped, you know, promote one of the biggest fundraisers for young professionals in the city of Detroit, which is called Bravo Bravo. That was just like such an honor. I never thought I'd be doing anything like that. Right now, uh, you know, I'm in line for this huge promotion. And I'm going, you know, they sending me to Toronto. And after that, like I said, I may have to move, but it feels good to move with a budget. Like, they're going to pay for me to move. Like, these opportunities, when it came, I would have just stayed in my lane. So, sometimes you just got to put your, you know, your foot, you know, just foot out there and just go. I mean, so, yeah, that's all. And just seeing my mom just... Go back to school and be so focused, so dedicated, so determined. I was like, you know what? I need to get back into that and just go for what you, you know, just go for it. You know, I used to be really fearless. And actually, it's a um, piece that I've written called, I remember when I used to be fearless. Because when I was younger, I used to tackle everything. I used to just get it done. And I think... As I've gotten older, I want to say since my mid-20s, I've kind of gotten comfortable. Once I moved into my own place and started making decent money, I kind of got comfortable. And that's not living life. Once you step out your comfort zone, that's when you see all the opportunities. That's where you really see what you're made of. So, you know, 
just seeing my mama step out of her comfort zone, step out of her career to switch up careers and go back to school, you know, really gave me the motivation I need to get back to who I used to be. So I'm just really geeked and just miss getting on camera with you guys. I It's just been so crazy with the new with my new schedule, all the new responsibility. You know, I went to my mom's graduation, so I was in and out of town. So I don't feel like I've been giving my all to my to you guys. And it it kind of makes me feel a certain type of way because I feel like, wow, I really had some people, some people that was pulling for me, and then I would just jump on camera, and I was looking at some of my reviews, I was like, oh my god, those were just so mediocre, and I did those because I just wanted, you know, I wanted to let y'all know I was still here, I was still with y'all, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie, some of those videos were mediocre, but it's okay, you know, I, I'm on here again, I'm on, <laughs> I'm back. Shoot, if something don't work out, you just try it again. <laughs> so, that's where I'm at right now. I'm just, like, in a really good space. Training is going great. I'm almost at the end of the bulk of the work. So, I'll be back on this camera more frequently and more organized. Because I just felt like, you know, the past couple of weeks, i just been like, hey, I watched the show. Let me just tell y'all what I think about it. I mean, which is cool. But I just want to get back to being more organized. I felt like I had a rhythm going and I kind of lost focus on that, you know, with getting this new job. And I know a lot of people are like, why do you care about losing focus on videos? This is just YouTube. No, it's not just YouTube to me. You guys are important to me. Um, what I'm doing on here is important. Like, I felt so bad because... My whole everything was going so crazy. I didn't even get a chance to really jump on here and talk about the whole Baltimore travesty. Like it was just so much going on. Like I said, to me, this is not just YouTube. You guys are my people, and this is just such a great platform to you know that I've come to value. So yeah, I'm back, and I can't wait to 